Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday with Page One Power. Page One Power is an SEO link building firm based out of Boise, Idaho. And my name is Corey Collins, Content Marketing Manager at Page One Power. Alright, so today I want to show you how to find which keywords are driving web traffic to your website and specifically find SEO opportunities where these terms are already sending traffic to your website but you're ranking suboptimally. So if you're able to improve your ranking for those keywords, that's going to drive a significant increase in traffic to your website. I'm going to show you all this with SEMrush and how we do it here at Page One Power. It's a very straightforward, very simple process, and if you're at all just beginning to dip into SEO, this is how you should start. I really recommend this. So, as you can see here, I've typed in carve.com. Now, let's just take a quick peek at their site. They're pretty cool. I really like this. These guys. Um, they create wooden. Um, phone cases, wooden smartphone cases. Uh, I have one myself. I really like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I've dropped my phone a million times. It's definitely protected my phone. So it's something unique um, and interesting. I have no affiliation with this site other than I've purchased one of their products and I like it. Um, they are not a client by any stretch of the imagination. So I just wanted to show you this site. And um, so let's hop back into SEM Rush now to look at what keywords are driving traffic from search to a website with an SEMrush you simply click down to top organic keywords and this is a list of the top organic keywords that, is that are driving traffic you can see this takes us into the organic research tab for positions and right away you can see this is sorted by the amount of traffic it's driving to the website by percent so for example the keyword carved is driving 13.5 percent of the total traffic to carve.com so that's a branded term uh, iPhone 6 cases it's it's currently at position 15 yet it's still driving 8.2 percent excuse me 8.02 percent of traffic it's so it's a significant portion of the overall traffic from search but it's only ranking in the middle of page 2 so if Carved is able to improve their rankings and their optimization for that page then, and see results and, and see this page rank higher in search, it's going to drive significantly more traffic. How many of us really go into search, search for a certain term, say iPhone 6 cases, and actually click to page 2, go halfway down the page, and then click on a result? I mean there's been many studies that show at that point the click-through rate people actually clicking on the results is pretty minimal by the time you get to that point there's a big drop-off and so we can see the search volume this is how many searches are happening per month for that term and it's important to note we are in US and Google here um, for this term iPhone 6 cases 450,000 per month and Carved is probably only seeing a very very small fraction of that ranking at 15 so if they're able to improve that, their ranking for that term for on this page here, they will see a significant increase in traffic. That is an SEO opportunity that we can highlight within 30 seconds of hopping into carve.com, or excuse me, SEMrush, and then looking at carve.com. It's SEMrush is a very powerful tool. I highly recommend it. Now, as you can see, there's a whole list of items here and it can be a little bit overwhelming especially if you're new to SEMrush um, let's go ahead to search for opportunity keywords that have high opportunity let's just start by filtering by volume search volume because we want to see what's really driving the most traffic where the most opportunity exists alright and as you can see right away this is kind of an irrelevant result here iPhone 6s, iPhone 6, iPhone 5s the truth is anyone searching for those terms isn't necessarily actually want to land on carve.com they're not looking for phone cases they're looking for probably the phone and general information about the phone so carve even if they're able to improve their rankings and they're at 40 49 and 69 respectively they're not, even if they're able to secure more traffic from those search terms it's not going to be good traffic it'll be vanity traffic it's not going to be traffic that converts so these aren't really terms that we would want to target as SEOs so how do we remove these well we could just ignore them as we scroll down this list and only look at the terms that use the word case or cases um, but there's this little thing advanced filters here that I really like to use and I think is often overlooked 
So keyword, we'll just go ahead and change to case. And we don't have to use cases, just case. And that will keep the plural in as well. And right away you can see that that has made it so that we only see results that are both case and cases sorted by volume. Now, that's pretty powerful right off the bat, but you can see like iPod 5 cases, they're ranking 93. That's going to be a slog, a pill. And I don't even know, to be honest, if they make um, iPod cases. And it appears they do, so I'm... Nope, there are no products matching this selection. So that's not even a good result, which is probably why they're ranking at 93 to start with, honestly. So we should really filter those out too. So let's go ahead and add another filter, and this time we're going to select position and we'll say uh, less than 50. So we want to see that they're already ranking fairly well for whatever term they're targeting. We, because Google already determines them to be a relevant result, but they're not authoritative enough to be ranking on page one. Um, while we're at it, we should really remove anything that's ranking too highly. So we'll do uh, greater than Five. So if they're ranking 5 or above, we really don't want to see that result because that's not a lot of opportunity in that term. They're already ranking really highly. Let's go ahead and click Apply here. We'll refresh the dashboard. And you, just like that, we have a list of top volume keywords. And again, we can continue to look at traffic. iPhone 6 Plus case, even though that's the next highest volume term, it's only driving 0.17 percent of traffic to their website and we can see that's because they're at 47 so they're getting almost no traffic from this term but it's a high volume term so it's something that we would probably want to put on our list but it wouldn't be the highest on our list I would say iPhone 6 cases and iPhone 5s cases ranking at number 19 here 135,000 searches per month and it's already driving decent traffic to their website. If we can improve that and get that to page one, that represents a huge spike in traffic we can t see to their site. And not just a huge spike of traffic, but this should also result in actual revenue and actual conversions on their site because these are people who are searching for a term relevant to their results. Now, they rank really well for a lot of thematic um, keywords around wood cases, but these are broad terms that I think that if people realize that Carved existed and they were selling these unique, interesting wooden cases, I think there's a really compelling idea that if people knew these existed and were searching just for general cases and then found Carved, that they might very well become a satisfied customer. So it's relevant, it's quality, and it's opportunity. You just have to use targeted optimization and probably links to improve your ranking for these search terms and make sure you're the best result on that page within search. So that is a brief introduction to how we find SEO opportunities and pages and keywords that we should be targeting with our links at Page One Power. I hope that you learned something new today and that you enjoyed. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time on Tutorial Tuesday here at Page One Power.